This weekend, I want to talk with you about prayer and the levels of prayer. When a person first gets into spirituality, they want to pray a prayer to get something the way that they want it, exactly the way they want it. Matter of fact, if the prayer isn't answered in the exact way that they have prayed for, they don't see it as an answer. And it is like, I, I'll be honest with you, I started to pray. And the way that I started to come into spirituality, I wanted Chris's will to be done. And when it was, I said, thank you, God. When it was different, I didn't see it right away. As a matter of fact, I'll be honest with you, some of the answered prayers that I had in the beginning, it took me a lifetime of looking back and <laughs> to a point that I can say, thank you, God. I'll tell you, it takes spiritual guts to pray this prayer, thy will be done. It takes it out of your hands. But when you are in spirituality for a while, you'll start to realize that all your prayers are answered at such a higher level than you could have even conceived of, and always better than you could ever conceive of, you start to realize that God's will is a good thing. When I was in radio in Nashville, Tennessee, this is a long time ago, this was in the 70s, I had the call to ministry. I had it clearly. And I'll tell you, it frightened me to death. I, I imagined that I'd be on some street corner with a tin cup. Really, that's what went through my mind. I, I thought, no, 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 I'm a young man. I'm not ready for that yet. I'll tell you, when we realize that God's will is always good, that God's will is always better than we could conceive of it, in time, and it does take time, it did for me, it might for you, for us to pray the prayer, thy will be done. In Matthew 6, verse 10, it states this prayer, thy kingdom come, God's kingdom God's kingdom come in your life. God's kingdom come in your home, in your work, in your career path. Not a kingdom of confusion and not knowing which way to turn. A kingdom of all good. It continues, thy will be done. God's will be done. For a person to get to that spiritual point in their life where they say, God, you know so much more than I do. I turn to you and I consent with everything inside of me for your will to be done. And then the last line of this prayer, on earth as it is in heaven. On earth... In other words, in your life, right now, as it is in heaven. The perfection of God comes through. I pray that you are willing to try this. That you welcome and give thanks for God's will of good in your life. You know, if you read insurance policies and so on, it says that God's will is the worst thing that can happen. It's disaster and nonsense. When you pray, thy will be done, you are acknowledging God's blessings, God's love. You know that God's will for you is a greater good than you've ever even conceived of in your mind or heart. And you are releasing all doubt about the activity of God's will in your life. You know that God's will for you is good and only good. And with a grateful acceptance, you open wide your mind, your heart, 
your life to God's will of good. And God gently guides you to ever-increasing good beyond even that that you can imagine right now. God's good is right in the midst of you as radiant life and health. God reveals to you what you need to know in a gentle way when you need to know it. God's will of good for you it includes joy, enthusiasm, inspiration. When you pray, thy will be done. And the Spirit of God goes before you, guiding you ever forward into new and fulfilling good, your life becomes sweet. Every part of it, every moment of every day of it. God bless you. Thy will be done in your life.